Hello, welcome back to BS Live. Um, today I will be using Blender 2.81 Alpha, um, and this actually this particular version still kind of alpha, still a work in progress by Blender developers. This version have the remesh modifier, um, kind of like a foxel remesher as a modifier. So I'll show you very very quickly what it does. Um, so basically, if you have like you have this default cube and then you kind of combine them together, control J and perhaps you do like subdivisions or maybe not. Maybe you displace them. Yeah, it looks a bit like the one of the Pokemon. But if you do the remesh, the, normally the remesh give you this result. It's, uh, it's something that's okay, it's not great. But underneath here, there's this option called voxel, and that's basically voxel remesher. And it's actually live, and you can you can play around with it. You can change the value, and what's cool is that you can because this is still like a bunch of box. You can move them around in edit mode, and then you scale, and you're gonna get. A different result so yeah it's really powerful this is actually a surprise for me I didn't know this option exists for sale remesh it's very very powerful um, normally okay you, you can hit up in order to apply all this modifier a quick way is F3 and then convert to mesh it's gonna delete all and you, you end up with this and of course you can go and start sculpting right this is a uh, I think very cool very very cool way to work um, especially especially if you if you use uh, maybe nodes at some point I'll, I'll I'll show you that but before I do that maybe I play around with this idea further so you can You can create shapes with just a box. I mean, the box is not probably not the greatest, but it's the easiest to understand if you're like super beginner. Even if you're not a super beginner, this is still fun thing to do. Quickly create a robot and with these things like that you need to be mirroring to the other side maybe just combine them we're gonna combine everything anyway and then just mirror uh, okay control a apply all the transform now we get our robot select everything f3 convert to mesh and then control j now you get this robot and then normally you probably want to use boolean but you don't need to that anymore if you are using remesh so remesh and voxel remesh and there you go and then you can you can then continue uh, with the sculpting and then after sculpting you want to do the retopology so that's maybe the workflow you want to do but if you just want to print this out this thing will print nicely and cleanly so you can go like really small voxel size and you start to get something that's really sharp but this guy is super dense be careful but super dense objects like this will still print so that's kind of okay depends on what you're doing this is a uh, one way you can quickly make a volume uh, like create an idea uh, maybe I go too small with the remesh. So kill, kill blender. So again, this is still work in progress. Um, I'm gonna show you one more thing. If you are using sphere chalk, and because with sphere chalk you have a lot of um, possibilities, because this is procedural. So I'll save this as sphere chalk and voxel remesh modifier. 
so you have the cube for example you have the box you can scale the box um, you cannot scale on into different size using this one that's okay you can have a torus duplicate uh, this guy ah okay the name alpha and alpha okay this one is better update so we have the box and the, the torus so what, what can we do with them we can bevel the box over here using modifier and then after that we can use remesh and voxel remesh now in this voxel um, SDF voxel SDF mode we can actually add a CSG operand this one give you the ability to difference intersect union so kind of let's say I want to minus the box using the torus I can do that very very easily oh this one is union so you can see the result if I hide the hide the torus file save um, this is the torus and I can kind of scroll and look at this that's incredible you can even animate it that's I think quite amazing uh, so maybe you have like a cloud character that's kind of which the face can kind of morph you can do that quite easily okay that's that's union but normally difference look at this box minus the torus you can easily make this kind of shape it's a quite complex shape so that's the torus you can reduce the resolution of the torus so that's quite nice um, voxel size so let's reduce it further so look at this this is something that you can print and maybe it's become like a chair or like a toy it's totally up to you so you if you're thinking like in terms of voxel suddenly it's so wow it's so easy to do yeah and you get the idea uh, with this torus if we actually enable if I enable merge and I play around play around with this the matrix maybe I want to rotate it maybe I create a multiple matrices so list join matrices so I'm gonna have uh, multiple of this torus let's uh, actually rotate it like this in the in the y-axis zero one zero now I'm splitting splitting it that way and let's add another matrices and split it in the uh, x-axis let's try that and yeah that's okay that's the idea and uh, play around with the box so this shape looks complicated but it's, uh, it's basically like a boolean right but uh, it can be so much cleaner because it's a box cell even though at this point it's pretty heavy you can you can always reduce it anyways like if you duplicate this guy and then f3 and then convert to mesh basically applying it and then you go to decimate and it's gonna reduce the number of vertices it's probably not the cleanest but that but then yeah uh, at this point you can really just retopologize or just start drawing it to get just the shape I don't know, I don't know. it's a it's interesting workflow I think um, so this is just like 
a box minus the torus that's already being merged. I'm pretty impressed that this is actually working. And maybe I'll show you one more quick trick. So scratch off notes, new box, again box. Or maybe Suzanne, let's try Suzanne. And then Vmesh viewer. Just normal Suzanne head. Try random random vector value and then matrix. What was it? I forgot. Matrix normal. Location rotations. This guy. How many we want? Five. Five Suzanne. So this is five Suzanne, five objects. Merge it. We have a single Suzanne now. All the head is merged. Remesh. Box cell remesh. Magic. Suddenly we have this combine susan head i think this is pretty amazing let's me update it oh it's yeah it's updating it's nice okay cool yeah look at that um this process maybe maybe that's too yeah i want to keep it low at this point save as susan mesh We have random value vector here, of course, and then we can randomize further. And if, if it's really close, it's gonna merge in, into each other. So let's see, 50 Susan head mesh together that's pretty crazy it's the speed of this voxel remeshing it's amazing and with this voxel there is like unlimited possibilities because you, you can go you can use the csg of brands here and mo have multiple of them and then it's like i don't know you can kind of think of the objects like a volume and then you can go inside and kind of minus think of it like in a, in a negative space and that's for designer this is like really really powerful um, yeah that's a random Susan head and then from here you can hit apply and go into sculpt mode and continue with the sculpting it's very powerful Yeah, I think uh, if you're kind of feeling you want to explore this, you can download the latest. This is kind of work in progress, Blender 2.8 Alpha, still Alpha. They say don't use it in production because it's still kind of work in progress. It might change in the future. However, this feature, I really like it and it's really fun. Just wanted to show you this uh, let me know what you think uh, and i'll see you next time thank you bye